All right, what's going on guys? I got a new scan tool for you. I've had this scan tool for quite a while. I just could never get around to doing a review on it. It's called the X-Tool D8. D8W, some people call it, but I just call it the D8. Um, I've got my dongle plugged in down here. This is a 2005 Pontiac GTO. It's auto scan. GM. Uh, this has a newer transmission in it, and it's a cammed, like, 6.0 bored out to, like, a 6.2 or something like that. And it's uh, it's basically a performance car for the guy. It's got street slicks on it, uh, four-speed automatic, 6.0, but, like I said, it's pushed out to a 6.2 cammed headwork auto scan. Let's do that. And now we'll go through and scan. It says we got five codes in the powertrain. Okay, read trouble code. Diagnostic trouble code, engine. Fuel trim system lean bank one. Fuel trim system lean bank two. Generator F terminal fault. P0700 transmission module TCM request mill illumination and P1632 theft deterrent fuel disable signal received. Huh. That's odd. Let's go to transmission. Brake switch circuit low. P07572 three shift solenoid valve performance no third or fourth gear. Okay. This is a brand new transmission. First thing we need to do is check fluid level, which I already did. It's really clear. I mean like a pinkish clear. And it's full, so there's no problem there. And then we need to see if we can go to live data here live data transmission live data and no I didn't want that um, I'm gonna go Vehicle speed, transmission, speed ratio, okay. Up to eight PIDs. Oh, so eight PIDs can be selected at one time. So custom, it says one, two, three, four, shift air, transmission OSS, vehicle speed and estimated. So, I'm gonna start it now. thing doesn't like to stay running if you don't rack it up a little bit let's shift into reversed all right we're reading rpm drive on to ah third gear it's not uh it's not look watch this so I'm gonna shift one two three here command gear I'm not looking for ratio I'm looking for command gear there's one there's two there's three and it doesn't do it three gear third gear command doesn't take effect So I called Brandon up at Performance Transmission. Well, Brandon from Performance Transmission on TikTok and here on YouTube. And I was talking to Brandon and he said that whole third gear thing is normal. You have to be driving in order for it. And what happens is you shift it into third, it reverts back to first because you're not moving. Uh, so that's normal for you to see first and second because you can start the car in first and second. 
but when you put it into third it's going to automatically kick it down to first because it knows the vehicle is not moving so that's normal so anyway just showing the tool working and stuff enough here and the next thing i'm doing with that is i'm moving into the electrical connector on the side of the transmission and then if that looks okay and it's not all fuzzy or oil inside it then i'm gonna go inside the transmission and look at the two three shift solenoid next but on to the next vehicle now let's look at another vehicle let's do some diag and repair do an auto scan this thing is very fast extremely it's the fastest one i've used so far without smart key so I'm gonna go into system selection and air conditioner read the DTC's B1441 circuit of passenger side air mix damper control servo Let's see, the other one had broken teeth on it. Let's see if we can clear it. Get raised on. Let's read DTCs again. It says it's present. It's plugged in, right? So I went in and I did the special function. And then... After I went into special functions, I went to servo motor initialization. And it says the servo motor is motor ECU is replaced, yes. The AC amplifier is replaced, no, but okay. The battery is this connector, press OK. I hit OK. It says the ignition is on, the AC is off, yes. AC is off, ignition is on. Press OK. And now it says it's doing the test. Okay, so let's go back and check our codes now that we did that. Read DTC. Oh, wait. Our current code is gone, and it says it's just a history code now. So if we go back, clear DTCs, erase done, go back to read no trouble codes in the system now that we've activated it. So now the real test is going to be mounting the, um, actually, turn the AC on. Look at the thing, see if it's moving. It's moving right now. Okay, so now we're moving again. So now I'm gonna move it all the way into the lowest position possible, the cold position, because that's where I manually have the door set up right now. Now I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna mount the servo motor on the side of the door. I'll show you how I do that. But I have this in the lowest position first because I have the door manually shifted all the way forward so that it's ice cold coming out of the dash. So now that I know that matches the mechanical position of how I manually set the door so they could drive it overnight until the motor came in, I know I can go ahead and line it up with the alignment tab and I'll be good. So back here, it's, it's going to be hard to see. This here is the door that you're moving hot cold. And basically... That door is a shelf that slides like this. It's a white shelf that goes all the way across the heater box and it goes zzz, zzz, and it blocks the heater core and opens the evaporator or blocks the evaporator and opens the heater core. Well, they dropped a bunch of straws down inside here and it jammed up the door. They went to another mechanic shop. They found the broken motor, but they didn't know why. So we did a video extracting Okay, start it. Start the vehicle. I want to make sure that we're on ice cold right now. You see how I got this this alignment tab? This alignment tab, the little wide open gap is down. Turn the AC up. No, turn it up, up. No, 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 no. The speed, the fan speed. 
Yeah, yeah. Keep going. All right, I got it in the coldest position right now. Now I need to mount my motor where I have it. And if you look, my motor, the alignment tab is here on the bottom. When I flip it up to the right position, it's going to be, or it's on the top, it's going to go to the bottom. I need two hands to do this. Okay, it's in. We found some nice little coarse plastic type Phillips screws. And I used my uh, SBR39 SB 39 piece hex bit ratchet set from Mac. Um, I love it. It's got like everything I need in it, especially in tight spots. And that little tool right there being magnetic and it slips and hugs it right up in there and it holds it very well I was able to get this up in this tight spot and ratchet it back in there and then all you do is pop the center out just push push on the center push on the center a little bit and then take the bit well pop back in that's how it's strong it's very strong you pull the bit out of it coming out but it's like hard to do it with one hand and there it is there's the bit look I love this kit and there you go that is this uh, SBR 39 SB 39 piece kit and that is also a little taste of the X tool D8 that is it's just a phenomenal scan tool it does all kinds of stuff now to go through this this thing has a special function category you can go through all these different things ADOS FRM reset SAS oil reset EPB all this right tire upgrade and then You can do a report, data playback, diagnosis report. You can send it to your customer from your scan tool here. You can go remote control. You can let somebody remote in if you're having problems. Or you can contact Xtool directly. There's settings. So I'm going to go through and update all the stuff that I haven't updated in a little bit. Update all. And just let it go through and update everything it's a really nice scan tool and it's probably the fastest one connection wise that I've used